this video about the sleepy tot. My name is Maria and I run Happy Mum Happy Child which is a website dedicated to parents to help keep sane. I've got a blog, I've got activities for kids, I've got recipes, allergy friendly stuff, musings from my brain. It's really well worth coming and joining and checking it out. Happymumhappychild.co.nz Anyway, this video is not about me, this video is about sleepy tot. So let's get started. Okay, what is the Sleepy Tot? The Sleepy Tot is this super cute comforter. This one in particular is called the Sheepy Tot, or you know, it's the sleep, it's the sheep version of the Sleepy Tot. So they come in two different designs, the sheep and the rabbit. They also come in two sizes. We've got the small size and the large size. Now excuse the state of this one. He is well used and I haven't quite gotten around to cleaning it. So that's a terrible parenting thing right there from me. So we'll use the nice cute little one to show you what's happening. So basically, like I said, it comes in two different sizes, small and large. It comes in two different designs and it also comes in four different colours. So we've got grey, cream, pink and blue. So all your bases are covered with that. And it's got four neat little paws with Velcro on them, ready to attach things to. When do you introduce the sleepy tot to your baby? The idea is the sleepy tot, you need to do it while the child or the baby has their arms out and can bring their hand up to their mouth with something. So they need to be unswaddled and they need to have that, that hand to face coordination. And generally that's around the six to eight month mark. Now, Babies are different, toddlers, infants are all different, so they'd all develop at different stages. So you'll be the best judge of that, of when to introduce it. But um, you can put this into a newborn crib or attach it to the, um, the bars on the cot. Don't put it right next to the newborn, but have it in the area so that, you know, the, the, the newborn's smell starts to go onto it. And then when they become unswaddled, that's when you start introducing it to them. Okay, so introducing the sleepy tot is not difficult. The idea is that you pop one to four dummies on each of these paws here. So I've actually got a dummy here, which I can use and show you. So we just pop one on like this and you're ready to go. I like to personally put um, more than one on here. My son has pulled off all of his, so he's only got one left. Um, and the idea is that you Give this to the baby or the child, depending on what age you're giving it to them. And just let them explore with it. Let them feel it. Help them guide this to their mouth. Uh, and, and when they lose that, you just get their hand and guide them back to the sleepy tot. And every time that happens, you praise them so that they know that this is the right thing to do. Um, yeah. It's really, really straightforward. Dummies. Let them play with it. Don't have too many expectations that it's going to happen straight away. They need to figure it out for themselves. That's how we all learn best. It's just by practicing. So you make sure you're there to help guide them. And um, like I said before, lots and lots of praise. Repeat. Repeat. Repetition is the key to anything. Okay, introducing this to a toddler is also not difficult. Now, when I'm talking about a toddler, I'm talking about a, a child of about 12 months plus. So uh, sometimes kids, if they've already got a dummy, they might be like, why do I want to give, why do I want to have this? The great thing about this is that it holds the dummy. So you're not going to lose this down the side of the cot. It's not going to go on the floor because it's, you know, it's a nice solid size, especially the bigger one. Um, so the idea would be to just make a big deal out of it. So talk about the sleepy tot, talk it up, talk about how amazing it is before you've even shown it to them. Hype it up. And then... <clears throat> give them the packaging, let them open it, let them explore it themselves, pop the dummy on, make a big deal out of it. Because it is exciting. I remember when I introduced it to my daughter, she was so excited. And both my kids now both absolutely love them. I mean, you can see this one, it's been well used. It does need a wash. I'm waiting for the sun. So, yeah, it's easy with a toddler, but you do have to um, make put a little bit more effort in, in this terms of um, communicating with them how exciting it is because it is exciting there are 
is actually one more great use for the sleepy tot and that's weaning the child off the dummy. So if you were to have four dummies on here, you simply just start removing the dummies until it comes down to just the comforter. And the great thing about this is that uh, it, it, the child will love it even if it doesn't have a thousand, the four dummies on it. They will love it. It's so soft and comforting. I know my son absolutely loves it. Sometimes he just walks around with it. He doesn't use it as the dummy. He just walks around with it because he loves it so much. And that's his little, it's his little safe toy and he loves that. And I think, you know, when it comes to weaning off the dummies, just take them away and he's still got this. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've got any more questions or want to know where to buy the Sleepy Tot, I've got all the details on the next slide. Go and check it out. Thanks very much.